It was a moment watched around the world and one that could potentially anger Saudi Arabia. I don't think it's going to help and I am, I am concerned about, about what happens the next few days. That was a, a photo op clearly. Rahaf Mohammed al Kanoon walked through Toronto's Pearson International Airport wearing a Canada hoodie and arm in arm with Foreign Affairs Minister Christia Freeland who personally welcomed the teen as a brave new Canadian in front of the cameras. The greeting her at the airport, that's that's one thing, and, and it, it was inevitable, I think, and there's a political element to this for sure. Uh, and, and hopefully that's it. Hopefully we don't then trot her out uh, for, for meetings with the Prime Minister and photo ops with the Prime Minister and a bunch of other ministers to try and use her and exploit her situation for to, to make a political point or a diplomatic point with the Saudis. I don't think that's fair to her, first of all, and I don't think it does our bilateral relationship, our efforts to build a bilateral relationship back up. I don't think it does that any good either. It's not the first time Canada's former ambassador to Saudi Arabia worries Canada could take a step too far. Dennis Horak was expelled in August in a diplomatic dust-up that saw Canada become collateral damage. It was this single tweet speaking up for human rights that upset the Saudis. And in wanting to send a broader message to the world, within hours the Saudi ambassador to Canada was recalled, new trade with Canada stopped, and Saudi citizens studying in Canada were ordered to leave. Canada has been unequivocal that we will always stand up for human rights and women's rights around the world. In recent weeks, Canada announced sanctions against 17 Saudi nationals linked to the killing of journalists Jamal Khashoggi inside the Saudi consulate in Turkey. The explanations offered to date by Saudi Arabia lack both consistency and credibility. My name is Rahaf uh, and I'm still in the room. Korak says the move to grant the 18-year-old asylum was the right thing to do, but admits it might complicate already strained relations with Saudi Arabia. In terms of the diplomatic retaliation, there's not a lot that's left to, to punish. I mean, they, they, they've closed off a lot of avenues of our bilateral relationship already this summer. Uh, they could, in theory, uh, take the nuclear option. By that, I mean breaking, fully breaking diplomatic relations, closing their embassy here, closing our embassy in Saudi Arabia. I think that's unlikely. Um, but on the other hand, as we saw this summer, overreaction in Saudi Arabia is not something that can be ruled out at this point. I have no choice. Uh, they said I have to go tomorrow. I would hate to see us turn around and exploit this situation, exploit her for political or diplomatic ends. This, this really shouldn't be about us, it should be about her.